Hello, I am Dr. Aparna Santhanam. I am a consultant dermatologist at PD Hinduja Hospital Mahim. And today I am going to be speaking to you about something very important, which is the general care that you need to take and the do's and don'ts that we need to apply for superficial fungal infections. Now, do understand that they are called superficial because they are very superficial on the surface of the skin and we can transmit them easily and also get them easily from other people. They can also be transmitted through infected towels. Sometimes you are travelling by a taxi which has got a cloth and the person before us has had a superficial fungal infection, we can get it too. So there are some important do's and don'ts that I want to tell you that all of us can practice. One, please do remember we live in a very very hot and tropical country. In most parts of the country it's sweaty the year through. In seasons like summer and the monsoon, the sweat reaches a new level and it becomes very very humid. Therefore, one, take regular baths. In places like Bombay, Madras which are on the coast, it is good to take a bath twice a day. Take a bath always with only lukewarm or cold water because hot water is not good for the surface of the skin. As soon as you take a bath, pat your skin dry, especially focus on the folds of the skin which tend to trap the moisture. This is also a good time if you have been prescribed an antifungal powder to use it in the folds of your body to keep them completely dry and moisture free so you don't get a fungus. The second important thing is the towel that you are using, let it be your personal towel. Don't share a towel with any family member and ensure that towels are also completely washed and dried but not left wet and moist in and around the house because a moist towel itself can actually promote the growth of the fungus and worsen your existing fungus. Third important thing is if you have managed to go to a doctor and taken the medication, ensure that you complete the course of medication fully. Do not stop the medication in the middle because just because you have seen a rash vanish or your itching has stopped on the scalp doesn't mean the fungus is gone and partially treated fungus tends to come back in a very big way. If you have got pets at home, please check the pets for fungal infections as well because we can get fungal infections from pets. Ensure that they are treated and while you are undergoing treatment, avoid intimate contacts with the pets. Also check your pillows, your combs, your bed sheets. If you have got active fungus, you can pass it to others through all these means. So take care that you protect others in your family by not passing this fungus on to them. One very important point is if you have got a fungal infection, there may be another family member who has also got a fungal infection but is too embarrassed to talk about it. So please encourage these conversations at home so everyone can get treated. And keep your general health up by eating enough protein, ensuring that you include things like buttermilk and curds in your diet because lactobacillus helps to control the growth of fungus. Do take care of yourself and take care of your general health because health is wealth and prevention is better than cure. Thank you.